Hello, I'm Kevin Benedict, Senior Vice President of Solution Strategy here at Regalix. I want to thank everyone out there for joining us today. I'm just thrilled to be here in downtown San Jose with Dave Berman, the president of Zoom, a fascinating company out there in the communication space. Dave, thanks for joining us. Thank you, Kevin. Great to be here. Thanks, everybody. So, Dave, talk to me about when I went to LinkedIn and I looked at your history, you've been in this industry for a while. You did around with uh, many, many years with WebEx and you're coming back and you're doing, you know, a, a new version, a new generation. Talk to me about what motivated you to do that and what do you see as the next generation? Yeah. So I kind of got to go back a little bit to how communication started and you know, when we first got into business, it was all about conference calls and everybody dialing into their audio conference calls. And mm -hmm. um, you know, we'd have video conferencing around, but nobody ever used it, right? WebEx found this niche where you could do screen share and PST and audio. So you mm -hmm. were pretty much showing PowerPoints and it, it was really cool. And, and we could do one way video. And I used to tell people, turn your video on, then turn it off real quick because you'll, you'll crash the network. <laughs> and, um, you know, obviously uh, uh, Cisco bought WebEx yes. and um, I thought this is going to be really cool because they've got all these video endpoints and telepresence and, and all that stuff and it, it, bottom line, it's, just, it's hard to make all that technology that was built 20 years ago easy to work together. Oh yeah. So um, Zoom came about to kind of solve a lot of the problems that, that we created early on at WebEx and the first big problem was that nobody really used video. And I, I think it's funny because if the origin was me telling people not to turn on their video because they crashed their network, that's, yes. that, that, that's pretty funny. But the reality was, it, it, it was it's just hard to use and, and, and video um, was super clunky. So um, the, the problems that we, we set out to solve were, were number one, most enterprise companies use, you know, on average three to four different communication platforms, whether it's WebEx, whether, you know, you've got Microsoft, you've got GoToMeeting, uh, Adobe, you know, you can kind of go on and on. Whoever knows a different platform uses it. Yeah, and then in the video, you've got all kinds of different video oh, providers. Yeah. So the first big problem we solve is we can really narrow it down to one to two vendors. And um, IT really likes that because they've got less solutions to manage. End users like it because it's uh, much easier for them to use one, one or two systems. And, um, you know, the, the bottom line is the ROI is pretty good on that. Um, second problem we saw was in the conference room in here. Traditional video conferencing systems have low utilization. Why is that? Because they're hard to use and you need a video person or an IT person, you know, sitting outside the room for important meetings and that's a pretty stressful job. We call it the uh, IT hot seat. I've done a lot of webinars and there's always this IT guy in the wings, right? To solve something. Yeah. 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 Third problem we solve is, is around mobile. And you know when we built WebEx 20 years ago, mobile was an afterthought. So the experience is, is, is gets kind of pretty clunky. Um, and uh, I say the fourth big problem that we solve is, is really about open workspaces. And, and you'll see our open workspace when we go around in a minute. But you know people need conference rooms to meet. Yeah. And you're not going to spend forty to fifty thousand dollars, you know, investing in a conference room anymore. So pretty much Zoom was built to, to solve all those problems. You know. Take it down to one solution, um, easy to use in the conference room, um, pervasive video across, um, telepresence, no more. You don't have to spend millions of dollars on that stuff. Mm. And, um, you know, bottom line is the end users have to have a great experience in the conference room. And, and it just kind of transforms how people work. That's, thank you for sharing that. At the same time that you're evolving and developing all this new technology, the culture and society itself is changing. So people communicate different. I mean, people weren't texting. As you said, mobile wasn't even a thing back when WebEx started. So how have you seen just business communication change over the last 20 years? Yeah, so I think there, there's a couple of macro factors. You, you mentioned mobile, obviously bandwidth is more pervasive, but the biggest change is, is really the millennials. And they're the largest population in the workforce now. And you know, they grew up um, using video. Mm -hmm. And when, when, they, when they wanna talk, um, they don't want to talk on the phone. None of my kids will talk to me. Um, it's text, it's, it's, it's I am, but when it's time to meet, it, it's all video. And when you can do it now and it's seamless, it's easy, it's clean, uh, it, it, it's so important, especially how they work, right? Um, millennials are hard workers. They're, they're working all the time. We've got a guy on our product marketing team. I can get him 
on I Am or video any hour of the night, no matter where he is, whether he's at Starbucks, whether he's out dinner with his wife, and we just have a quick video chat. And for me, it's way better because we all get too many emails still. And just be able to have a real quick, high quality conversation, move on is, is really powerful. And, and, and we're seeing that with our customers that that really that transformation which is a much better experience wow so you you kind of led us into this conversation about leadership with millennials so talk to me and give me the kind of paint the picture of what how does a leader utilize all these available tools like zoom has to be a better leader yeah how do you see that happen yeah i think you know it, Transparency is super important, and, and, I, and, and I think it's important no matter what generation you're in. But you know, um, I, I think that there has been a fundamental change in the workforce of, of at least here in the valley. We're seeing is, is people sharing all kinds of information, and, and you know, having that direct connect. And, and as you get bigger, obviously the workforce gets larger, and the company mm -hmm. gets larger. People want to know what's what's in the loop, and, and, and what's what, what's going on, and what's important to them in, in their careers. So. Um, one, one of the big things that we're seeing is these, these now these live company all hands that, that aren't streamed one-way video meetings anymore. They're, they're, they're super interactive. So um, executives will get up, they'll talk about the company, um, what's going on, uh, bring in executives on video from all the other offices, um, promote people up who have a, a really good question. They could just be you know, a, an entry-level salesperson. And um, I know Slack does this on a, a weekly basis. Mm -hmm. They do their all hands. We do ours um, with our team uh, every other week. And we just get these great questions. And I love it because I don't have to put together a big PowerPoint deck. Um, you just get to talk kind of free flow, what's going on with the market, the business, and, and answer questions. And um, you know, it can really just helps break down that, that barrier and, and open transparency and have a better interaction. So Dave, I read this last week that Jeff Bezos from Amazon doesn't allow PowerPoints in his meetings. And he's a big fan of this narrative, the storytelling. So tell me the story, you know, what, what's working, where's the pain points, or tell me the story itself. And to me, video just lends itself to that whole thing. Instead of, as you said, capturing it all in a bullet point, talk to us about it and just tell us what's working, what's not, what you're learning. Yeah. Is that how you're seeing things? That's how we're seeing it. And, and again, the, the way people work has changed. Before you go on a conference call, everybody hits mute and they start doing their email, right? And that's PowerPoint. Everybody totally turns out. But when, you, when you're looking at someone right in the eyes, they're looking back, you can read mm -hmm. their body language. Um, and, and, and I think it's super important as you have a trust relationship, right? Mm -hmm. And we have you know customers that, that we work with on a daily, we've never met them live. Right, I feel yeah. like I know them, yeah. and uh, when you see them, you're like, "Wow, you're really taller than I thought." You know, <laughs> that, that kind of thing. But you you already know them, but you you physically never met them, but it, it, you're able to build that bond and, and that connection. So before the camera went on, Dave, you said your you know your background is sales and marketing. Talk to me about how you you know how do you put together what the value proposition is for Zoom when you're talking to a board or a group of executives. Mm -hmm. You know, what is that value that you really stress to them? Yeah, you know, at the end of the day, it, it, it's pretty simple, and it, it's better interactions, um, high quality video, super easy to use. And um, I think people, everybody says that, but our, our sales model is pretty simple. It's like, we've got a free trial, we'll let you try it. Uh, you know, one-on-one's -on -one free as long as you want, um, up to when you have more than, uh, uh, you have third person and beyond, it, it then we have a 40 minute time limit, but people, you know, they use it, they like it, and they say, wow, this is really better than, than what we're using. And it's kind of like one of those lightning strike products. Mm -hmm. um, you just got to see it. So our, our, our best sales tool is a free trial. And you know, my, 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 oh, my, my sales prop is, hey, try it. If, if you like it, great. If you don't, tell me what we can do better and we'll fix it because we've got a great engineering team. So uh, very low friction. Um, easy entry point, not a hard sales push anymore. So you've been in the industry, I've been in the industry over 30 years as well. Sales are different today because in high tech, you're talking about a subscription model. So you have to make them happy every month, right? And when I came in your lobby, what was the word it said? Zoom delivers happiness, right? What do you mean by that? It, it, it's our culture. Yeah. Uh, we give uh, delivering happiness by Tony Shee uh, from Zappos to every employee as part of their 
you know, new hire kit, they get a mm -hmm. Zoom backpack, a t-shirt, and the book. Yes. And I think he does a great way of, of laying it out. And Eric, our founder, when, 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 he started the, when he started the company, he wasn't happy at his last job. And he said, I'm gonna do this one different. And that book was a key part of our culture going forward. And I think we've taken it to kind of our own new level and we've made it our own Zoom way. But it's really at the, at the center of everything we do. Um, if you have happy customers, employees, uh, life is so good. That's terrific. So a lot of the folks watching out there come from the high-tech environment, the technology-based environment. A lot of them are in uh, companies that have cloud-based offerings now. So that's why I'm going to pursue this question and ask it again in a different way. Um, how do you keep a customer once they are in a trial nowadays? Mm -hmm. You know, what is the magic that makes them stick with you? or leave with you? Do you know what those, you know, do you kind of follow that and say, yeah, yeah. if they do these things, they'll stick with yeah. us. If they stop at some point in their journey and only learn half of Zoom platform, then they leave. You know, what's the magic to keep them on board uh, year after year? Yeah, the, the, the real secret in the conferencing industry is usage, right? If, if people are using it, they're gonna continue to, to pay and, and be happy. So for us, it's all about, having that first interaction be successful. And you know, we've got amazing attention to detail on the product. Um, just make it super easy to use, very clean user experience, buttons that are simple to use in our conference room. Product, we, you walk into a conference room, you just hit start, right? Mm -hmm. You don't need an IT person, you don't have to worry about your presentation. Um, it, you know, so it, you know, it's about high quality, um, easy to use, and, and, and just making sure people use it. Our, our net promoter score is an industry high, 71. Wow. And in other prior companies in the same space, what well, wasn't even close to that. And we think the net promoter score is a future indicator of, of the success of our business. And, um, you know, we're, we're blessed to, to have that uh, type of quality product and, and, and support team that keeps everybody happy. That's brilliant. So now I'm going to give you your philosopher hat okay. or your futurist hat. You know, there's a lot of talk about the fourth industrial revolution. It's kind of the combination of the physical and the digital and biological and everything is changing with artificial intelligence and machine learning. And so there's these hybrids of humans and technology working in combination to be more productive. What role do you see Zoom playing in that whole mix? Yeah, so our, our mission is really to make video frictionless. And I kind of, I, I look at communication in waves. I think we're, we're in wave one right now, what I call horizontal video. Mm. And it's just getting people to turn on the cameras, right? Getting comfortable with it. Um, you know, I'd say our average enterprise customer has an 80% plus increase in video usage just by deploying Zoom, mm. which, which is obviously a, a, a much greater experience. So I look at that, that's kind of wave one. Um, we're, we're in the beginning of wave two, and I, I, I just call it smart video, mm -hmm. right? What, what are the things that video can do to help me be more productive in my meetings and uh, make it a, a better experience? So we're doing stuff like uh, transcription, so you know, real-time translation of the mm -hmm. meeting. Oh, wow. Um, we've got some, some stuff around in augmented reality. We can do virtual backgrounds, which we'd love to show you um, in a minute. Um, we're, we've got a partnership with, with IBM, IBM Watson that's just kind of taken off and I'm, I'm super excited about this one because this is like wave two and three for us yes. and what IBM's doing is they're running the meeting data through the power of Watson AI, right? And you know, think about the world's smartest supercomputer mm -hmm. and there's so much good information in meetings and so we're kind of on the, you know, what's going to come out of it, I'm not really sure, but stuff that they're doing right now that gets me excited is if I come into a meeting and I missed the first 10 minutes, I can get a recap of what oh. happened by the time I get there, right? I think that, to me, it can, can, can save a lot. Um, you know, if, I, if I'm running late to a meeting um, in traffic to be able to have it automatically change my schedule um, and, and, you know, change my dinner reservation, text my wife, tell yes. me I'm gonna be late tonight. Um, you know, all that stuff is, 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 getting, is getting close um, some of the stuff I'm super interested in is, is kind of the next generation of uh, the, the video and facial analytics. Ooh. When we're doing an interview right now, can you imagine um, talking live and getting a Frank Lutz type uh, read on your audience? Are they engaged? Are they enjoying it? Are, they, are your jokes bombing? Yeah. You know, all that stuff and then be able to aggregate it and 
um, eventually, you know, get kind of real-time data on individual people. And in, in, a, in a selling or support scenario, it'd be really helpful to know if the you know decision maker in that meeting is interested, confused, or frustrated um, from a coaching standpoint. So possible. emotional analytics and all this kind of stuff. It's, it's a little smart, creepy with, with the but, smart level, but, yeah, not, but, but, really. but but it's. I think I think it, it's going to be out there in kind of that 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 third wave. And you were telling us before the cameras came on, you were sharing with us that your schedule can be back to back to back because you're eliminating all the travel time. Just some basic things too. You can be more productive because you can be zooming anywhere in the world. You can project in military terms. You can project yourself. Your, you project your power anywhere in the in the world to a customer to an employee uh, through the video. So that's fascinating. A absolutely, I would love for you guys to see my office. Literally, I've got three screens in there: um, one to look at the person I'm talking to, two if they're showing content, and three to read all the other people in the room uh, on video. And best thing for me is I'm, my my schedule's like yours. I'm back to back. I'm booked all day long. I walk in and I hit start. Right, and everything just works. And wow! I have these great meetings, and um, best thing for me is I don't need to drive to San Francisco, yeah. in Palo Alto, to get me out of the office. And that's a good thing. It is a good thing. The only bad thing is it does uh, put, put uh, a little bit on, on here. But executives love it, and we just deployed about 200 rooms at uh, one of our one of our larger customers, 21st wow. Century Fox, for their executive team, and they made the, all their offices Zoom rooms. And and people know a lot about the Zoom video client or mobile aspect, but the best thing we do. Or, or these Zoom conference rooms. That, um, and talk to us about what is it? Oh, it's super simple. It's it's your existing camera, a flat screen monitor. Um, we've got uh, you know a laptop or a Nook to power it. Mm -hmm. um, but it, it's basically you can set up a room for three to five thousand dollars now, and and really enjoy it, and not need IT's help anymore. We'll get we should get a shot wow. of that yes. as, as we go around because you know spending thirty to forty thousand dollars per room just doesn't make sense anymore. So Dave, walk us through where you see communications and, and web communications going over the next three to five years. What's coming down the road? Yeah three to five three to five is, is pretty tough. Um, <laughs> you know I, I think you know the the, the first wave is Again, that, that horizontal get people to use it. Second wave is that you know augmented reality um, mm -hmm. with uh, intelligent meetings. Um, third wave to me is like the Jedi Council meetings. Remember the the 3D holograms yeah, that we're all, we're all sitting around the table um, and 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 really literally being anywhere. We could be in space having having that meeting, but I, I think that from from a workforce standpoint, I think in three to five years, people are going to be more productive in a video conference than you can be face to face. Because I'll be able to say, um, Watson, pull up the price quote from six months ago. Mm -hmm. Pull up the proposal. Watson, did I really say, did I say that in that meeting? Did I approve yeah. that guy? Did I say I was gonna approve his expense report or not? Yeah. Yes, you did, right? So my, my memory's okay, but as I get older, it gets it gets a little fading. I'm in so many meetings. You just need more augmentation. You did. <laughs> Absolutely. Without a doubt. <laughs> Well, Dave, I want to thank you so much for joining us today, and I want to thank all of you guys for watching. Thank you, everybody.